Hey everybody, it's Michael with Pocketnow.com. Today we're going to do a quick step-by-step run-through of how to install Android Ice Cream Sandwich on the HP Touchpad tablet. Now, some of you might remember the touchpad was going to be the spearhead of HP's big push into the tablet market with the operating system they inherited from Palm called WebOS. When HP canceled those plans, they put the touchpad on fire sale for ridiculously low prices, and the rush was on to port the more powerful Android tablet platform to the device. Thanks to the efforts of the Cyanogen mod team, it's now possible to run Android 4.0 on the HP touchpad. Let's see how. Now, since we're focusing on an OS X install of Android on the HP Touchpad today, what we're going to need is an Apple Macintosh computer, the HP Touchpad itself, a USB cable, and some good thoughts. So what we want to do first is drop the Touchpad into developer mode. And how we do this is by entering just type and inputting the Konami code. For all you old school gamers, that should be very familiar. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. We type that in and developer mode pops up. Tap the developer mode enabler and we're prompted for a password. We can skip that. In very short time, we're dropped into developer mode and the touchpad is unlocked. Back to the Mac, we can hop on to the uh, Java website, make sure our Java install is up to date. If it's not, Software Update takes care of that for us. Next step is going to be hopping over to WebOS Nation. There's a thread we're going to drop into the video here. We want to download the latest version of the WebOS Quick Install software. The Mac will warn you that it's not safe. Go ahead and say it's safe. And here we are. Next step, we're going to hop on over to rootswiki.com. We can drop the URL in there for you as well. This is where we're going to grab the software necessary for the rest of the install. Scroll on down to the download section on this page, and we're going to grab most of the files here in the list. We want to make sure not to forget the Google Apps package, because a Google tablet is not terribly useful without the Google Apps that it comes with. Pop the USB cable into the touchpad and the computer. Touchpad tells us there's a USB cable connected. Do we want to go into USB mode? Yes, indeed we do. HP Touchpad pops up on our desktop as an accessible device. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to name the folder CM Install. And clean it up just to get it out of the way. Then we're going to select those four files that we just downloaded in the previous step, making sure not to forget the Google Apps ICS package, and drag them over to the CM Install folder that we just created on the touchpad. Next, we're going to eject the touchpad from our computer. However, we want to make sure that we're not unplugging the touchpad just yet. We need to leave it plugged in. Back on the computer, we're going to scroll through our file system, find a folder called OPT. Then under OPT, we're going to find Nova. Then we're going to find bin. And we find a bunch of files in the bin folder. That's good news. Next thing we're going to do is drag the Acme Installer 2 file to that folder. Turning our attention back to the touchpad, we're going to go to our settings menu and find our restart options in the device info screen. There's a lot of reset options here. We're going to do a standard restart, but this time when we do it, we're going to hold down the volume key, the volume up button while we do it. So let's do that. Hold down volume up, press restart, and we'll give the device a second to process that request. We get the spinning HP orb of thought, and we should be provided with a large USB icon. There it is. Next, we'll head back to the computer, open up Terminal, and we're going to change the directory that we're working in Terminal to the directory that we just created. Now, if you don't frequently jam with the console cowboys in cyberspace, if you're like me, in other words, you're going to get a lot of errors in Terminal as you figure out how the hell to do this kind of very rudimentary uh, code work, particularly if you're new to the Mac, relatively new to the Mac, and you grew up in DOS. But uh, a quick series of Googling and a little bit of trial and error finally got me to a place where I could get some results. Now we're going to hit Enter, watch the HP logo come back, and boom, code. Lots and lots and lots of code. The touchpad's going to do this for a little while. You're going to see a lot of stuff flying by on the screen here. It's going to take a while. It's going to pause at points where it just kind of sits there and stares at you and 
get a little blinky cursor there and it doesn't really do anything, leave it alone. Don't unplug it. Don't move it. Don't look at it funny. Just let it be, and then it'll start again. You can get a little goofy if you want. And it'll start inflating all these files, and then we see something very familiar. We see the ice cream sandwich, multicolored Google rainbow dynamic shape explosion. It's good news, because we've got Android ICS now running on the HP touchpad. But our work isn't over yet. We want to power the tablet off because we have to make sure that we are getting all those Google apps that we were so focused on installed properly. And when it reboots, it's going to give us the option to boot into WebOS, boot into Android, or do some other options here. We want to boot into Clockwork Mod. Then we want to select Install File from Zip. We're going to apply the update from the zip file on, quote, the SD card. We'll go to the top option there. We're using the volume keys and the uh, HP touchpad's single center button to select options. We're going to scroll down to the folder called CM install. And we're going to choose a zip to apply. And it's going to ask us to confirm. Cannot be undone. We select yes. We'll go back to work. Once it's through, we'll just go back. Select reboot system now, the top option. It'll come back. We'll select boot into cyanogen mod so that Android loads again on the touchpad. And before you know it, Android will optimize those applications that were installed in that package. And we have ICS running again on the touchpad, but this time with the proper suite of Google Apps. That's what we call awesome. Well, that's it for today's walkthrough. Once again, I'm Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com. I want to give a quick shout-out, though, to the folks at SimpleHelp.net, without whom this walkthrough probably would not have been possible. They uh, have some excellent information, which we use a lot of in this. And also, stay tuned for some reviews of Android 4.0 on the HP touchpad as I spend more time with this device and uh, more time with this build of CyanogenMod. In the meantime, leave us some comments. Let us know what you liked or didn't like. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you did like the video, and stay tuned for more. It's PocketNow.com. Thank you.